Hello you beautiful people out there, welcome back to Tense of It. In the last video, we created our base shapes and aligned them the way we needed them. If you haven't watched that video, I'd recommend you go watch it first. Let's now finish what we started by joining this part together. In order for them to not overlap with each other, we will join one of the sides of both bodies on the same plane. Let's start by creating the rails first, that will help guide the twisted join. Let's take the sketch tool and choose the YZ plane. Making sure the 3D sketch option is checked, we will change the perspective to get into the 3D view. Let's now grab the spline tool, and like I said, we will join one side of the bodies on the same plane. Also, in order to join the correct corresponding points, imagine one of the bodies getting rotated to match the one you want to join, we will join this point and then this one here and instead of pressing the escape key, we will click this check mark. Making sure the spline tool is active, let's join these two points as well. You can zoom in and check if you have joined the correct point and that the anchor is not floating in the air. Let's do the same on the other side. Then with the other body, we will make sure that the opposite side, meaning the bottom side, is joined with the other body on the same plane since the previous one had the top side. Let's finish by joining the last points as well. All we need to do now is define the curve, which can be achieved by making the handles collinear with the edges they are joined to. We can also use the tangent tool and make the splines tangent to the edges but I will stick to the collinear tool. Do not rush through this step and take your time to make sure every handle is collinear. You can also cross check it with the icons appearing next to the handles. Next, we will give all the handles the same length by grabbing the dimension tool and giving one of them 0.5 inches. Then we can take the equal tool, not the parallel tool, but the equal tool under constraints menu and make every other handle the equal length as the one we gave the dimension to. Again, take your time and do not rush this process. You can verify with the equal icon appearing on the handle. Great. We have all the rails on place and we can now finish the sketch. Let's join the bodies by going to the loft tool under create menu. We will select both the faces of the bodies we need to join under profile. Do not worry if it doesn't look as we intended, as that's exactly the reason we have our rails in place. In the rails option here, we can either click on this select icon or click on the plus icon here. To select the rails, we will select the add icon and start adding the rails by clicking on the appropriate spline one by one. I noticed that I chose the wrong profile for one of the bodies. So we can remove it by clicking the cross icon here and then re-adding the correct one. Let's continue adding the rails. Now, by selecting each spline, we will make sure the operation is joined and then click OK. Perfect. The first part looks amazing. We will now bring back the sketch and continue the same process for the other part. So, going to the loft option under create, then selecting our profiles. And then finally, the appropriate rails. Let's just make sure nothing overlaps. If you want, you can turn the bodies into components and name them. And that's it. This is how you create two twisted components without overlapping. If you guys like my explanation, please don't forget to subscribe 
like, comment, and share. Hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your support helps my channel continue to deliver high-quality Fusion 360 videos. Thank you.